Hey guys, I hope you are doing all right. Um, this is a little bit different video than than usual, and uh, this is about scratch tickets. I see somebody on eBay selling like a spreadsheet on how to win um, at like at lottery scratch off scratch off tickets, and uh, it it sounds great, right? But it doesn't matter. I mean, it's always the luck of the draw. So we're going to look at this game, Mad Money, uh, Texas Lottery. You can see, like, the prize amount went up to five times on one game, whatever. Um, 150 tickets. So if you went and bought a pack of them, it would be 150 bucks. The guaranteed amount is $84 per pack. So you're guaranteed to win at least $84 of your 150 back. So... These are the winning um, amounts and all that. On the right, these are what's left open. This is what's been used. Or this is a ru the original amount of wins, like how many of each ticket. This is how many are current still open. Um, this is the total amount of tickets that were in the game. And this is the odds. So that's the game right there, guys. Well, I made a spreadsheet so we can get a better look at this. Okay, so you see right here I have all that same information. Winning tickets, I've figured out the odds. The average ticket is worth 60 cents before you scratch it. So keep in mind that you lose 40 cents off of every ticket. This is going off of a 150 50 ticket pack. There's 31 winners. Don't expect 32. Expect 31. They're, they don't do 30. It's 31. That's just how it works. And I figured out the average value to be $92. That's if you don't have any special winners or anything like that. If you buy one pack, this is kind of what you should expect. Doesn't mean you won't hit one of the big numbers. It's just, you know, the average. So... On a total packs, uh, I misspelled, um, but it should be of 150. There's actually 60, a little over 60,000 packs of 150 out there. So I think 51, 51 um, $500 winners are mixed in at over 60,000 packs. And not very good odds. You can see it's a .08 odd of winning 500 bucks. So, I mean... To get that up to 1%, you had to spend a lot of money just to try to win a 500. So forget that. Okay, the $100, um, you have a 2% two, two that your pack is going to have one. So almost just over 2 out of 100, you know, take 150 packs and you're going to win, you know, a couple of them, maybe three. So not not real good odds there that you're gonna get a two hundred a hundred dollar winner in your pack is two percent chance. A fifty dollar pack, you have or to get a fifty dollar winner in your pack, you have a five percent chance. A twenty dollar ticket in your pack is sixty six percent chance. So sixty seven percent chance. We're gonna say you find one in this in this scenario. A ten dollar Lotto scratch off winner, you have a 183% chance. So you're going to at least get one, most likely two out of a pack. Um, I would say if you're going to, if you happen to get a $120 winner, you're probably going to get one $10 winner. But that's okay. We're just, you know, we're just guessing right here. This is just kind of close estimates. $5 winners, you're going to get at least two $5 winners. $3 winners, you're going to get at least three, maybe four. $2 winners, you're going to get most likely eight. And $1 winners, you're going to get 14. All right, so that's 31. Let's take a look down here and see. Okay, so you just bought you a pack of 150. Your odds of winning one, let's say you won one, $20 one, two $10 ones, two $5 ones, four three dollar ones eight two dollar ones and fourteen one dollar ones with ninety two dollars so 
<laughs> your odds like right off right off the gate right off the gate on this is terrible. Um, sixty cents on a dollar. So you have to understand they give they got the the cost of making the scratch off. So let's say it costs them five cents to scratch off to make. Then they have to get them all delivered out to everybody. So add another. Let's add another five cents there. So let's just I know it's not that much, but let's just say another five cents per ticket. So you're you're down to ninety cents um, that they have on it, and then they give the stores when they sell them five cents per ticket per dollar that they sell. So. They're probably making twenty five cents, twenty to twenty five cents, because you have people's labor and all kinds of other stuff involved. So let's say they're making twenty cents on the dollar. So you, you understand why it's an average ticket value of sixty cents. But by using this the system, you can do this with any. And the idea is to try to find the ones that had the best the best values. So out of the starting gate, this isn't a game that I would consider like great. I don't, you know, to play. It just doesn't really have any good values to it. But most games are going to look like this. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you start getting involved in, in trying to make money doing scratch tickets is that the odds are always against you. Always. Now you could take this list and update it with what's currently still open. Let me see. <laughs> So we can go change the total of number, the the prizes that have not been claimed, and do it in reverse and find out an estimate of how many tickets are still out there, and um, is there a better possibility of winning higher values? The percentage should go up then, you know, if you think about it. So the probability to win these could be higher, or could be lower. You see a lot of ten winners been hit, ten dollar winners, a lot of five dollar winners. Twenty dollar winners are still I mean a nice slew of them. But yeah, that's it. Um if I decide to make one if I decide to go ahead and update it with this information, I will do it guys and, and share that with y'all. <laughs> On that spreadsheet of this is when the game starts, and then what I'll do is like another one. Maybe I'll do another one that has after the game starts right here. So we can walk through it. I've already walked you through this, and then I'll walk you through what the current um, game looks like. So we can see, has it changed much from there to here, and is it is it worth playing at this point? Is it worth risking a few bucks? We're going to go risking $150. So we're gonna go off of the theory of risking $150 and see how the, the odds have changed and stuff. So be looking out for that video, guys. Probably will not be today. Most likely Friday, tomorrow. I will have that out for y'all. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to y'all later.